Today uh, we're discussing nutritional deficiencies in palm trees and during this filming I'm going to show you several examples of palms showing specific deficiencies and try to tell you how to correct them. Palms as I've discussed earlier are considered to be heavy feeders. They like a well-balanced fertilizer mix from their majors to secondary to the different minor nutrients and we're going to point out several of the main deficiencies they get but they also can get deficiencies of things like calcium, copper, and zinc which um, are not typically thought of as deficiencies. The main deficiencies are with nitrogen, potassium, magnesium, manganese, iron, and boron and that's what we're going to cover today. Our first tree is a queen palm here, it's Cyagris Roman Zafianum and this tree here is showing a typical example of nitrogen deficiency. With that, usually the older leaves start to become yellow or light green first and then it moves up to the top where the whole tree becomes yellow and eventually the growth will stop as well. I like the fertilizer mixes to have a balanced amount of nitrogen and potassium. I say that because some of the new mixes are like an 8212 or 8412 and the nitrogen is not balanced with the potassium. At Harrell's we have a 11411 and a 13313 where the nitrogen is balanced with the potassium. This tree here as you can see the lower fronds and the upper fronds are pale and it's probably deficient in some other nutrients but nitrogen is the main thing going on here. The next nutrient we're covering is potassium deficiency in palms. Behind me is a Phoenix sylvestris. It may be a hybrid. And typically with Phoenix, potassium and magnesium are their biggest issues. And this palm's actually showing a deficiency of both. But the way you can tell a potash deficiency is by the speckling and the leaflets. And when it gets advanced, like it is in this case, the leaflets will actually turn brown or necrotic. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, potassium and magnesium translocate readily in the plant. So it's always seen in the old leaves. For potassium deficiency, I like our mixes that have at least 10 to 12 percent potassium. Our 11411 and 13313 is a good mix for that. Again, I like nitrogen and potash to be balanced. Come in four to five times per year on a tree like this, four to five pounds per tree. Also, what this grower can do is use sulpamag at the rate of four to five pounds in between applications because it's high in magnesium, potash, and sulfur. The next nutrient deficiency in palms that we're going to cover is magnesium and Canary Island dates or Phoenix canariensis are notorious for showing this and in the background here you can see one showing classic symptoms where the yellowing is in the lower leaves right here along the edges. It also has some potassium issues going on as well and we're going to cover that. Magnesium and potassium deficiencies will always show up in the older leaves versus the new leaves because they translocate readily in the plant where iron and manganese don't translocate very well and uh, the, their deficiency is usually seen in the new leaf. The correct magnesium deficiency is good to have a palm mix with 2 to 3 percent magnesium in it. It's usually put in the form of Epsom salts or magnesium sulfate. Sprays of Epsom salts at two pounds per hundred gallons of water will also help correct the problem, but ideally to correct any deficiency you have to have it on the soil and fertilize regularly, at least quarterly, with a good mix like an 11411 or 13313. Magnesium is the nucleus of chlorophyll, so without magnesium chlorophyll is not made and that's what causes the yellowing. Our next nutrient we're covering is manganese and palms do love manganese. It's one of the uh, minor nutrients and typically in a high pH soil or a sandy soil that's low in manganese they will get a manganese deficiency. This is an advanced situation here. Typically in manganese deficiency the veins will start to turn brown on the new leaves and as it progresses it'll get a symptom they call frizzle top. And this is a very good example. Queen palms prefer an acid soil where manganese is more available and this is a pH of about 8.0 here and queen palms typically like all the nutrients from nitrogen down to boron but again this is a good example of manganese deficiency. All palms need it. It's good to have a palm mix with at least 1.5 to 2 percent manganese in it. Typically that's put in a manganese sulfate form 
When it gets this advanced, you can still correct it through sprays of Tech Mangum at the rate of 12 ounces to one pound per 100 gallons of water. And you need to be on a regular fertility program using a field mix at least quarterly. Another minor element deficiency that we're going to talk about is iron. When a palm is low in iron, a deficiency symptom will be intervenal chlorosis in the new leaves where the veins will be green and it'll be yellow in between. I like the iron levels to be almost equal to that of manganese, if not equal, and be anywhere from 1 to 2 percent. It's ideal to have iron in somewhat of a chelated form to make it more available. Also, if you have an iron deficiency, sprays of chelated iron such as Sprint 330 are very effective and use them at the rate of 8 to 12 ounces per 100 gallons of water. Our Herald Miner Max is also quite good. It has good levels of iron and manganese in it. There's several others out there, but again, you want to have it in a chelated form. The last nutrient deficiency we're going to talk about is boron. Behind me is a, another Phoenix Sylvestris, where if you notice the new leaves are shorter than the old leaves, meaning the expansion's not good. This technically could be a deficiency of calcium, zinc, or copper, but I know it's boron because I did a leaf analysis on this palm and it came out to 11 parts per million. Boron will show up in Phoenix palms as well as other field palms, typically in sandy soils where it's leached out. There's a fine line between a boron deficiency and a toxicity, so you've got to be careful how much you use, and typically in a palm mix we like 0.03 to 0.06% to be added. If you do have a palm showing boron deficiency, sprays of soluble at the rate of two ounces per hundred gallons of water will work. Harold's also has a great product called Tropical Mix Plus Boron and that's used at a quart per hundred. It has one percent boron in it and some other miners and magnesium and it's been outstanding at correcting boron deficiencies.